it's finally here. The Primary Arms SLX 5X Micro Prism. I pre-ordered this a couple months back when the pre-orders opened up. And uh, I've been very excited to get my hands on this optic. I checked it out at SHOT Show. I checked it out at the uh, the uh, Primary Arms shoot. And um, this is very, very promising. Uh, this particular one has the Aurora Mill reticle. So uh, the cool thing about mill reticles is that it doesn't matter what caliber you're shooting. It doesn't matter what distance you want to zero it at. You're going to be able to utilize uh, that reticle to determine your holdovers at distance as well as winded correction. This is a 5X ma magnification. So that's definitely going to come in handy when you're shooting at those little bit further distances. So let's take a look at what is included in the box. All right, so dive in here. There we go. And uh, of course we have our manual here uh, for the reticle itself. And if you are not familiar with how mill reticles work, you're definitely going to want to take a look at this manual and make sure you have a really good understanding of that reticle. So the cool thing about it with the Chevron is the tip of the Chevron is going to be your point of aim, point of impact at your zero. Up close, you can use that entire Chevron as um, kind of like a big old red dot. And that's also going to build in your, uh, your holdover at close distances at seven yards or so. And then, of course, at distance, you have all these different mill uh, hash marks uh, that you can utilize uh, for your holdovers. And uh, over here, you can see it kind of talks about uh, how you can use to um, use your uh, the known size of a target to calculate the distance. And we're not going to get too into the weeds on that, but um, suffice to say uh, that uh, you could utilize the reticle to determine how far your target is and based on whatever your dope information is for that caliber and that firearm, you will know uh, what your holdover needs to be to make a hit. So good stuff there. And then of course we have our scope manual. Um, make sure you check that out. Looks like uh, we're gonna have some risers in there, which I like to see really get that, uh, get that height dialed into where we want it, especially on these micro prisms where um, usually you're gonna have a little bit less forgiving eye box. Got our lens cloth there. A little bit of Vibratite. Love Vibratite, it's probably my favorite uh, thread locker um, to use. And then let's see, we got the optic itself. Still wrapped up. See how long it takes me to drop this on the floor and put a put a scratch in it. All right, so we got our bikini top there. Go ahead and remove that, and I'll tell you right off the bat, this thing is pretty light uh, compared to a 4X ACOG. Um, feels really good. Of course, looks great as far as the fit and finish goes. All right, I like the recessed turrets, so you don't have to worry about uh, hitting those on accident and uh, messing up your zero. Let's see, is there a battery in it already? There is. There we go. Kind of get an idea of that, that reticle there. Um, so yeah, we got our, our optic. What other kind of goodies? Oh, we got a tool. I, these are, uh, I love these Torx wrenches that Primary Arms includes. These are these are some nice, heavy-duty Torx wrench. Um, I recommend torquing to spec, whatever the Torx spec is on these bolts. But this is a really good uh, tool to kind of get you in the area before it's time to start start cranking down. Uh, looks like we got a smaller Allen key. That one's going to be for the the mount 
uh, itself, those smaller screws. And then of course our different risers. Looks like we got uh, a cantilevered riser there, which is nice, kind of bring it back to your eye. Maybe go over your, your uh, rear iron sight. Um, basically, um, really allow you to kind of dial this into your um, your preferences there. So a lot of different options. These can be um, combined in different ways. We got some different length screws for those if you're running the the riser with any of these. So good stuff there. All right, we got the scale out because I know somebody's gonna ask how much this weighs. Um, so with the, in the factory configuration with the mounts, we're looking at 9.2 ounces. Pretty reasonable for 5X magnification. All right, so I just tossed it on the Jackal uh, real quick. And this is probably what I'll be doing a lot of the testing with this on anyways. Um, so just to get an idea of what the eye relief is going to look like here. So for me, let's see, like, right, I can already get a sight picture here. Um, I got a little shadow, but I'd say right about here, really good. This is perfect, right about here is right about perfect. Just to get an idea on that that eye relief and it could be a little bit different for you um than it is for me but uh yeah that works pretty good and even where i'm at here and this is all the way to the rear on the jackal as far back as i can mount it um but if i wanted to i could also run this cantilever mount and that's going to bring it a little bit further back also, so I might play around with some different mounts and see what I like. And most likely, what how I'll be running this is I'll have this 5X, this fixed 5X prism installed, and then I'll have some sort of backup red dot, either an offset or have one mounted directly on top. Primary Arms makes a piggyback mount for these uh, where you can run one of their red dots right there kind of on the front which would be good because when you're down here taking your precision shots and you can just peek over the top, make your hits with the red dot also works really good uh, for night vision use. So a lot of possibilities. I'm looking forward to, to uh, playing with this in the very near future next weekend. And um, that's it. So let me know what you think about the 5X micro prism from Primary Arms. Are you planning on checking one of these out yourself? Is this the first time you're hearing about it? If it is, then stay tuned because there's going to be some more info on these in the near future. So thanks for watching.